Hi Journalism 121, this is a quick video to show you how to add things to your RSS reader, especially if you're using the old reader like I am. So um, I subscribe to the free version of the old reader. You can get the pro version, but I have under 100 subscriptions that I subscribe to, so I just stick with the free one. So anyway, all you do is you click on add subscription and then you can add uh, a particular you know URL and click on it and if it if it can uh, directly subscribe to that in and of itself the URL it will and it'll automatically bring in the different blog posts that the person has done or at other times and I'll show you in a minute it'll give you options to subscribe to so let me show you that so in this case I've now subscribed to this person so I could also do something like SFGate and that is going to give me a list of things. They actually have set up feeds for each um, kind of topic that they offer for that, that newspaper, like technology or the Giants or um, Bay Area News, etc. So you can just go ahead and click on one of those particular subscriptions. Now there's something else that I want to show you. And I'm not going to actually add, add this right now. So I'm going to go back to um, the one that I just did and not sure where I would find it now in here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it again. So I'll, I'll go like that. It'll probably say that I've already added it or I don't know what I'll do. Okay, so it's going to um, bring up all of the different uh, blog posts again. Now let's say you're adding a lot of things, like I have 80 subscriptions now, so I don't want to just have them in a row like this because it does make it harder to find the things that I'm interested in. So you want to, for this assignment, also create folders or categories. So I, how you do that is it's locked within this. So you go to a particular feed that you're interested in, in this case Goings Writer, go to Move to Folder, and then click New Folder. And for this, I'm just going to call it Test Folder. I already typed it in before. And I'm going to create it and it's going to move that particular feed underneath that there so now if i um it's adding it right now so now there there it goes it's no longer kind of off color um if i go down here you'll see it right there and then you'll see that i have added a subscription to it so let's say i wanted to take something like cheap bites and move it there too i'd click on that and i'd go over to here and move it to test folder and then let's say I'm not interested in this anymore. I could go to test folder and it'll show me everything, by the way, that's under that particular folder um, from both blogs that I've now subscribed to. And if I just didn't want this anymore altogether, I could click on subscribe and it would delete the subscriptions to both of those blogs that I have underneath there. Or if I don't want to do that, but I want to get rid of one of these, I might go to Goings Writer and then unsubscribe from just that instead of the whole folder, which will delete the folder if I did that. So I could just click unsubscribe and when it, once it has gone through, um, you can see here now that it's gotten rid of that blog. Um, if you're in the mood to be social, you guys can do find friends and look up each other, you know, any of the people in 121 and see uh, what they're subscribing to. I'm not totally sure how that works. I have some uh, friends that I follow and I think it has me follow their subscriptions too, or I can click on their name and then I see the blogs that they've subscribed to. So you can try that and you can certainly follow me. I'm under Nancy Kaplan Beagle and um, that'll also help you perhaps find interesting blogs um, that have to do with this class as well. There's something else I wanted to show you as well. If you go under settings um, and you go over to this section over here, it's going to show you something called mobile apps. And it'll show you a whole bunch of things, whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android or a Windows phone. And these are mobile apps that will um, are compatible with the old reader. And if you download one of those mobile apps and then plug in the old reader, um, you know, your login for that, 
you can get all of these subscriptions on your phone. And I don't think you're going to be able to see this if I hold this up, but I actually subscribe to Feedler, not Feedler Pro, but Feedler. And um, what it enables me to do is everything that I do on Old Reader comes straight into this. So I, I don't know if you can see that, but if, um, if I to make any changes on Old Reader, they automatically show up on my mobile device, on the mobile app, and it makes it so that when I'm on the go and I want to read a bunch of things really quickly, I can do that super easily from my mobile device. So I rarely check into the Old Reader on my laptop. I mostly use my mobile device, so I really suggest getting one of these free apps. And a lot of people really like, um, they like Feedler. That's one of the really popular ones. Um, but you can also, I'm not sure if they're compatible with, if the old reader is compatible with um, Feedly instead of Feedler, but Feedly or one of the other um, kind of aggregation apps that you can get on, on um, your mobile devices. Uh, but if you don't end up using the old reader and instead use a separate RSS reader, you might find something that um, has a mobile device, a mobile app as well for that particular reader that you use. Okay, well, I hope you guys have fun um, finding blogs that are really useful to you this semester.